my friends this is dr zia ahmed and welcome to my youtube channel as you know that this uh, channel is most of the time recording videos in order to give benefit to my students especially when they are reading certain texts with me and so today this is going to be chapter 12 of the novel the heart divided by mumtaz shah nawaz we have already discussed chapter 11 and this time this chapter is dedicated to the co protagonist that is sugra the sister of zora on with on whom this chapter is going to be and that chapter goes to reflect the psychology the working of the mind of a woman who though wanted to continue with her traditional setup that means uh, the marriage or the children or uh, the kind of in laws everything she wanted to do but there was something in her which she possibly inherited from her father from her family from her developments and also from her sister that was uh, posing certain problem for her and she was thinking again and again why she has separated or isolated herself into the domestic sphere of life instead of continuing with the political activity as her sister was doing so this chapter uh discusses the marriage and post marriage timing which sugra was spending at multan but it also goes to reflect more and more on the working of her mind let us see how we know very well this chapter begins with the uh kind of situation that the woman whose name is sugra she wanted escape and her escape is revealed by number of things for example the very first paragraph is about a kite which is flying in the air and she is thinking that possibly this kite is trying to reach the moon but then it falls down because of tangling with other kites uh, threads and this is symbolic of uh, her own self that she wanted to fly so high as much as possible but because of this marriage because of the change in her life she is feeling like the broken kite not only she feels this thing about the broken kite but also uh, she is sighing and looking at the moon and the stars and all these things are tempting her and all these things represent a type of external world and that is why she is feeling the need of uh, talking to these thing in silence her word is restricted at this moment she doesn't need the husband she doesn't need the in-laws to talk to her she needs the outer world to talk to her for example this passage is very interesting on this page 112 and the writer says the moon and the star together once again and yet they failed to thrill her as they had done through many years that had gone before she turned away from the window and put on the light then jumping out of the bed walked restlessly around the room her eyes fell on a book shelf filled with books that had come as wedding present speaking up uh, one at random she sat on her bed again and began to read hollow men by t s eliot she had never quite understood what eliot was trying to say perhaps her knowledge of english was not good enough uh, uh, of perhaps she had notice for modern poetry but she opened the book and began to read determined to get away from her thoughts and the caption is between the idea and the reality falls the shadow now this is the situation in which sura herself is there she is feeling restless she is feeling perturbed because her life patterns are changed this change is almost unacceptable to her though she didn't wanted to dislodge the marriage or she didn't want to break the marriage but she wanted something in her life she wanted to do something in her life that is the production of mumtaz shah nawaz that sura is such a character that she would like to take both words with her the word of politics the word of activity the word of female performativity along with the word of her marriage but it was not happening as a result she was so sad and upset nothing was giving her joy even the books which she had lots of them with her as a dowry she had got this was not giving her a joy this goes to prove also one thing that at that time the educated people of india used to give books to their daughters also books were such an important source of knowledge and entertainment that many people had that but sugra being disturbed internally was unable to get any benefit out of these books also and next you see we have even more important passages which reveal internal condition of sugra and how she was trying to cope with that uh, for example um she thinks about her husband in the terms that she says ah oh, 
He might have waited to wait it until she knew him better, and she was accustomed to her strange home and her fresh surroundings, but he had showered his ardor upon her while he was still a stranger, and she had turned her face to the wall, and her heart had been cold within her. Once she had imagined the slow growth of intimacy through days and weeks of tenderness while her personality unfolded itself before him like the gentle blossoming of a flower. Once he had imagined the comrade and the friend who would gradually become the lover and the husband, but between the moment and the spasm falls the shadow. So that was the wish of Sukhra. Now, Sukhra's attitude and thinking in this paragraph has revealed was that gradually the man who became her husband should have come closer to her while crossing certain stages for example first of all a person who is in her life then introducing himself revealing to her and understanding her and coming on the stage of friendship and after that to the stage of lover and only then he should have come closer to her but this didn't happen the man have, was having different feeling and the girl was having different feeling in this regard. That is very important for a girl to feel and have relationship of a friend and lover with her husband in order to celebrate the happiness of her life. But most of the time it perhaps doesn't happen in the uh, arranged marriages kind of thing. But here, whatever the case may be, we are able to understand Sora's character that she is a woman who would accept a man on her own terms, not on the terms of the man. So that is the change which had come in the educated Muslim elite woman that they didn't want to willingly accept a man which is imposed upon them. Rather, they wanted that he should come like a friend and then they should blossom before him like a flower. So that is the kind of woman we are coming across in this part of the chapter. And here one more idea about her and where she would feel because of all these deficiencies like a caged bird. For example, the writer tells, and apart from these tongues, she was never alone and her thoughts were struggling within her like caged bird while she ached for the cool solitude of garden at home. That was basically the problem. The other people were not of same nature, of same psychology. For example, her sister-in-laws, her brother-in-laws, her mother-in-law, all these people were quite different from her. She wanted to live a life where it is peacefulness and where it is some solitude available some thinking time available but all these people were surrounding her all the time and that is why she was feeling like a cage bird because she was out of the world in which she was brought up and another line which is at the bottom of the page which says or did he think at all that's a question which she is putting towards herself that her husband was really a thinking man or he was simply a landlord so in that way the two different natures, two different psychologies are be becoming problem and that is happening mainly because the women of that time are being portrayed in such a way that they had their own way of thinking and behaving as well. So this is the kind of situation in which uh, Sura is present and definitely this is a difficult situation for her. Uh, she wanted to do something good in her in-laws. She didn't want to create any troubles, but still it was the case that she was becoming a type of trouble. In fact, that woman, Sura, had a very different world view, for example. Her grandfather used to tell her the stories of Arabia, of Turks, of uh, very big heroes of Muslim people, and that is why in her imagination, man was like that. The area of activity and performativity was like that. It was not restricted just in the four walls of her room. And that's why she wished and longed for the expansion. The expansion which the Muslim people had while they were fighting wars in the Middle Ages. And after that, uh, the post-Middle Ages and sometime in the beginning of the uh, you know, Islamic ages, the heroes were there and these people wanted to uh, fight and conquer for the sake of Islam. The heroes were there. These heroes and the armies and the war machines all are in the minds of this girl. And whenever she thinks, she idealizes them. And perhaps this is symbolic of our own desire to work for and to fight for and to struggle for in order to create a better world as compared to the four walls of the room. Like here the example of Salahuddin has been given and that comes from the Middle Ages of Islam where there was all glory and that glory she was, 
she was trying to have for her as well. She was imagining and longing for that. Now, this thing possibly was not achievable when a woman is restricted within four walls and that is the kind of conflict she is running. Her family wants to keep her in the four walls and she wants to have this type of enlargement and expansion in her life. That's why a big trouble was there. On the other hand, her husband was having all enjoyments of his life. He was going out, he was enjoying and uh, he was enjoying the company of that beautiful woman as well. And then he was a hunter as well. So he was using his energies in order to do whatever he liked. But in comparison to him, that girl, Sora, was not being given any chances like that. And this was creating a kind of gap between the relationship of her husband Mansoor and her own self. And then because of the whole tension, she started to feel some kind of headache or she posed that she had the headache. The only purpose was that she could remain silent. She could remain away from the people, her in-laws, and she could enjoy certain moments of solitude that she said. And as a result, people were giving her a little relaxation. Now, this thing uh, definitely would create a kind of trouble in the family in which she had come as a as a kind of bride, as a kind of daughter-in-law, it can create certain troubles for her because of the setup of all things. And so um, her purpose was not like that, but still her training and other things were making him feel so. Again and again, she went back to listening, imaginating the stories of the Muslim heroes as she listened from her grandfather and wanted to play the role in the world the same way as these people played. So she wanted a heroic life. She wanted a big life in which as a woman she can create and do things and her marriage and her husband and her in-laws and the four walls of that room were resting to her restricting her and that's why this was creating a huge trouble for her mental trouble or physical trouble as well and therefore this is the condition of the girl and that condition worsened itself even more when in one evening she gets the news that her grandfather from whom she used to listen such stories he has died now this thing uh, it may not be that great the death of the grandfather but still the grandfather was the source of her outer world was the source of the glory of the outer world and that has died in a way symbolically speaking this is going to be the death of all those ideals which she had been having in her mind and possibly wanted that these ideals should be exercised but the uh, restriction on the way was her merit and possibility the indication is being given that if her ideals are not realized somehow she may be breaking the marriage or she may be going out of that marriage as soon as possible so dear students that was chapter 12 hopefully i shall come up and talk to you people about the next chapters too but gather the ideas about the character of sugra from this speech and also have some points made so that you can talk about Sura's character, especially with reference to the symbolic expansion she wished to have. And that was troubling her insight as well. So thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you sometime again with some new video. Till that time, keep happy, keep peaceful.